Welcome back everyone. Well, stress of course can have a big impact on our daily eating habits, so it's very important to help manage stress and eat healthy to help promote a heart healthy lifestyle. We've got Brooke Schuenberg. She's a, a nutritionist with Women's Hospital. She's joining us with some tips to help you kind of stay on top of your healthy eating and manage some of that stress that is sure to come with our daily uh, lives at work. So good morning to you. Good morning. So of course a lot of uh, issues can pop up during the day at work to keep you off track of eating healthy, but there are some things you can do to help kind of combat that. So convenience, of course, is a big issue. What can people do to kind of counteract that convenience issue with healthy foods? Well, the two biggest things that I think people can do, either one, be prepared ahead of time, or two, wake up early. So those are two things that I try to implement in my own life. So over the weekend, if you have time, meal plan, grocery shop, prep, cook if you can, and if your weekend uh, turns into a hot mess and you can't do that, waking up just 10 or 15 minutes early can really make a big impact on how you spend the rest of your day. And it really does set you up for success, making sure you're prepared with those healthy snacks. You know, stress at work is almost unavoidable. It's mm -hmm. going to come at some point, and making sure you're eating healthy it are just is one thing you can do to help manage that stress. So what do you do when you're stressed out? I know me, when I get stressed, I want to go have like a milkshake and a cheeseburger and just sit down and do nothing. So what are some healthier habits to uh, get in place when you're dealing with stress? Well, if you're stressed, overheating and physical inactivity are two things that come along <laughs> with that. So like I said, be prepared. Always have things that are convenient but healthy in your fridge. Make them more appealing than the stuff that's not. Um, out of sight, out of mind, definitely. And so um, I like to do something called a picnic lunch. So if I'm trying to prep for work and, I, like I said, hot mess morning, I have two <laughs> kids, I know how it goes. I try to pick things that are easy to grab that don't require um, a lot or no cooking, like Greek yogurt, um, carrot sticks, cucumbers, uh, berries or apples, some boiled eggs. Just throw those all in your lunchbox. And that way, whenever you're at work and you're stressed and you feel like you're buried, you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat. You can just grab it off the fridge. A bunch of different options to snack on throughout the day. What about availability? I know a lot of workplaces, they've got the vending machines. There's not always a healthy option in the vending machine. So uh, what's another way to avoid those unhealthy eating habits? Oh gosh, just save your money, avoid the vending machine like the plague. And I mean, unfortunately, I feel like here, we don't have a lot of places that are easily accessible, uh, especially near the workplace. So if you don't have your lunch, then check out some places that are near you that you can get by or get to in about five minutes. A lot of restaurants have their tips and nutrition facts online so you can look ahead of time. And if you do have to eat out, then look for keywords, things that say like fried and cheesy, dead giveaways that they're gonna be high in fat, high in sodium. And then just look for items that maybe have the words fit or fresh and sometimes those are a little bit lighter. What about a calorie count? Is there a meal that um, like a, a certain amount of calories that would be a good lunch or is that too specific to the individual? It's definitely specific to the individual but in general I would say 500 calories or less and then I always look for things that are lower in fat, lower in sodium. If it's something with a nutrition facts label maybe 20 percent or less of the daily value for fat and sodium and then I always look for fiber. It's my favorite thing to look for in food. I would say five grams or more for each uh, man or woman. Awesome. Wonderful tips there to help keep you uh, on track with your healthy eating during our stressful lives, stressful work. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank We're going to have those tips for you on our website. That's the